আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু আই এম মোহাম্মদ আবুল কাশেম সিনিয়র লেকচারার ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ইসলামিক স্টাডিজ মাইলস্টোন কলেজ ঢাকা डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज लाइक आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी आर हियर आल्सो উইথ এ নিউ ক্লাস ইটস চ্যাপ্টার 5 लेसन 8 द बायोग्राफी ऑफ हजरत उस्मान রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু এন্ড নেক্সট উই উইল ডিসকাস अबाउट द बायोग्राफी ऑफ हजरत अली রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু তো ফার্স্ট অফ অল দ্য বায়োগ্রাফি অফ হযরত উসমান রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু এট ফার্স্ট দ্য ইন্ট্রোডাকশন উই নো হযরত উসমান রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু ওয়াজ দ্য থার্ড খলিফা অফ ইসলাম অফ মুসলিম উম্মাহ এন্ড দিস হযরত উসমান রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু ওয়াজ বর্ন ইন বনু উমাইয়া ট্রাইব অফ কুরাইশ বনু উমাইয়া ক্ল্যান অফ কুরাইশ ট্রাইব হযরত উসমান রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু ওয়াজ বর্ন ইন 576 সিএ এন্ড হযরত উসমান রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা আনহু রিসিভ ইসলাম এট দ্য এজ অফ 34 Hazrat Usman radiyallahu ta'ala was uncle's name was Hakam and this Hakam he was uh, uh, he was a kafir that's why Hakam uh, tortured upon Hazrat Usman radiyallahu ta'ala in various ways for receiving Islam and in his case Hazrat Usman radiyallahu ta'ala uh, migrated from Makkah to Abyssinia with his wife Hazrat Rukayya radiyallahu ta'ala who was the daughter of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam dear students now we will discuss on the basis of questions the first question what is the meaning of junnu rain why was he titled so we know hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala whose title was junnu rain and junnu rain means the power of two lives uh, that means hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala who married two daughters of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam rukayya and ummi kulsu as he married two daughters of prophet that's why he is titled he was titled as junnu rain or the owner of two nurs that is owner of two daughters of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and another title of hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala was he was ghani ghani means the rich person as he was one of the most rich person of madina that's why he was titled as ghani another important title of hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala was jamiul quran this is the, the question is here uh, who was jamiul quran as queen but the usman radiyallahu ta'ala was titled as jamiul quran jamiul quran means compiler of al quran or gatherer of al quran as during the regime of hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala who when various types of regional recitation of al quran regional dialects of al quran was started and the peoples were uh, uh, reciting al quran in various types of regional dialects then hazrat huzair ibn yaman radiyallahu ta'ala who this sahabi informed hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala about this different recitation of al quran different dialects of al quran then hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala took initiative to remove this problem and to confirm the main stream or main essential stream of al quran and that's why hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala who collected the main script of al quran that was under the custody of hazrat hafsa radiyallahu ta'ala who was the daughter of hazrat umar radiyallahu ta'ala and wife of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by collecting the main script that was compiled by hazrat abu bakr radiyallahu ta'ala at first hazrat usman radiyallahu ta'ala had given this duty to hazrat zaid ibn sabit radiyallahu ta'ala who was the main wahi writer and uh, by the head of Jaid ibn Sabit, Hazrat Usman formed a new committee to compile Al Quran again. And thus, Hazrat Jaid ibn Sabit, the Allah who uh, made seven copies, seven copies from this manuscript. And <coughs> by having these seven copies, Hazrat Usman, the Allah who Allah distributed these seven copies to different states and ordered to the governors to uh, only to follow these manuscripts. Uh, uh, of, the, of the Holy Quran, thus Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala no, removed the crisis of recitation of Al Quran and removed the regional dialects of Al Quran. That's why, for this great contribution, Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala no, is recognized as Jami ul Quran in Islam. <coughs> now, we will discuss about the contribution of Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala no, for Islam and humanity. Dear students, you know, Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala no, donated. Each and every of his assets, only for the welfare of Islam, for the sake of Islam, even for the welfare of humanity. 
we know Hazrat Usman Nabi Allah Taala was born in the rich man and he donated his all assets for the welfare of humanity here we will discuss about some of his this generosity and kindness and his healthy activities uh, the, uh, here donation in the battle of tabuk we know during the battle of tabuk Hazrat Abu Bakr Allah Taala donated all his assets Hazrat Umar Allah Taala donated half of his assets but Hazrat Usman Allah Taala donated uh, a huge amount of assets well for, for the sake of Islam uh, among the 30,000 soldiers Hazrat Umar Usman Allah Taala took the responsibility of complete expenditure of one third that is 10,000 soldiers complete expenditure uh, under the the study of Hazrat Usman Radhi Allah Ta'ala Not only this, Hazrat Usman Radhi Allah Ta'ala who donated 1,000 camel, 7 horses, even 1,000 dinar to the personal fund of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during this battle. That's why the huge amount of donation of Usman Radhi Allah Ta'ala is noticed here in this battle of Tabu. Now the next point, remote water prices from Medina. When the Muslims went to Medina, Usman Radhi Allah Ta'ala saw the people of Medina were facing various, which facing uh, crisis of drinking water because there was only a well named Ruma well. It was under the custody, under the ownership of a Jewish woman. But that Jewish woman uh, used to sell the uh, water with high cost. Then Usman Radhi Allah Ta'ala bought that Ruma well. Uh, by 18,000 dinars, that is gold coin, by 18,000 gold coins and open this uh, well for the welfare of human being and to uh, collect water for, uh, free of cost for all the peoples of Medina. Thus, Hazrat Umar removed the water crisis from Medina. Another important donation of Usma, land for Majestic Nabobi for extension. In instance, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam thought that Masjid Nabawi need to be extended because the people of Muslims are increasing. Uh, then Prophet Usman Ali Allah Taala bought maximum lands uh, 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 besides the Masjid Nabawi and donated he these lands for extension of Masjid Nabawi. Thus, uh, on the land of Prophet Usman Ali Allah Taala, Masjid Nabawi was extended. And the uh, next point, food and living during famine. In instances in Medina, famine or crisis of food, water, etc., were arose in Medina. But for the Usman Nadi Allah donated his assets, his wealth, with open handed for the welfare of human being, for the welfare of Muslims. Thus, Hazrat Usman Nadi Allah sacrificed his life, his assets, his each and everything for the sake of Islam, for the welfare of Islam. Let's, we will learn, uh, uh, learn the uh, characters of Hazrat Usman Radhi Allah Ta'ala we will be uh, generous, we will be kindful, always we will help or donate for the welfare of crisis, for the welfare of humanity, inshallah. Dear students, now we will discuss about the biography of Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala the fourth caliph of Islam. Biography of Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala Anhu The first of all the introduction of Hazrat Ali's biography Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala Anhu was the fourth caliph of Islam Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala Anhu was born in 600 CE and in the Bonu Hashim of Quraysh tribe We know Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala Anhu was the was a cousin of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that means the son of Abu Talib the luck of or nickname of Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala was Abu Tura and Abu Hassan. This Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala received Islam only he was 10 years, uh, only when he was 10 years old. That means after getting prophethood by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Ali, when he heard it, he received Islam instantly. And Hazrat Ali Radhi Ta'ala is the first man among the boys, among the young men, among the uh, little ones who received Islam at first. So Hazrat Ali Radhi Allah Ta'ala from his very childhood, he was the he was a 
good fan of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He used to follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as his idol. So, Hazrat Ali radiyallahu taala's contribution for Islam is remarkable. Even he was the fourth Khalifa of Muslim Ummah. Now, uh, we will discuss about the title of Hazrat Abu Bakr Ali radiyallahu taala. Hazrat Ali's title was Asadullah. Dear students, we know Hazrat Ali was great for his for his heroism because his heroism was remarkable. The peoples of Kafirs used to be uh, fragile when they used to hear the name of Hazrat Ali radiallahu taala. His great contribution, his heroism during the Battle of Badr, and each and all the jihads of Islam was remarkable, and it was a great support on behalf of Islam. The question: What is the meaning of Asadullah? Why was he titled so? The meaning of Asadullah means the Lion of Allah. Hazrat Ali al-Ladin was uh, addressed this title by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. However, Hazrat Ali al-Ladin al-Ladin conquered the Kamus fort at Khaybar. However, Hazrat Ali al-Ladin al-Ladin conquered the Kamus fort at Khaybar. Then, by by seeing his heroism. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam addressed him as the lion of Allah as Asadullah that's why Hazrat Ali was cited as Asadullah uh, we know during the battle of badr the first war of islam by seeing the great heroism of Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu ta'ala no Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam rewarded his own sword Zulfika to Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu ta'ala So there, if the question is like this, what is Zulfikar? Zulfikar is the name of his soul. It was gifted by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala for his heroism in the battle of Badr. Now, the uh, we will discuss about the another contributions of Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala. Who, dear students, you know, Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala who uh, was attended in each and every. War in each and every uh, trip of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We know during the uh, Treaty of Hudaybiyah, Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala who uh, had written the treaty by his own hand. And during the conquest of Mecca, the Muslim forces fled in the hand of Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala. And thus, Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala who was the witness. Was the key initiator of each and every war of Islam, of each and every uh, uh, every initiative of Islam with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, the another important part of his life, pursuit of knowledge. We know Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu taala who was uh, had a great pursuit, great great thirst for all kinds of knowledge. He was uh, in deep knowledge. Uh, in Quran, Hadith, Fiqh, uh, Arabic grammar, even even he used to uh, write poem. And, and Diwan Ali was a poems book uh, that was composed by Hazrat Ali radiallahu taala. Who Hazrat Ali is considered as the uh, initiator of Arabic grammar also. And about the knowledge, about the depth of knowledge of Hazrat Ali radiallahu taala. Who Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a hadith that I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. That means Rasulullah said, "Ana nadina tu lailmi wali yu babu." I am the city of knowledge and Ali is the gate. That means if you want to know the knowledge of Islam, you must to know about Ali and Ali is the gate of Islam, Islamic knowledge. And the most important part of his life, uh, his simplicity of life. Also, Ali the Allah the Lord after. Being the Khalifa of Muslim Umma, when he was the fourth Khalifa of Muslim Umma, <coughs> uh, he didn't change his lifestyle from his very childhood, from his very boyhood. Hazrat Ali al Ladin used to lead a simple life. He never uh, lead any types of gorgeous or any types of uh, elite class life. He used to always uh, maintain a simple life. Even he he never used to collect any money or any asset or wealth for his uh, future savings. He used to donate each and everything. Finally, uh, <coughs> would get anything, any asset or any wealth uh, in his life. 
even when he was the Khalifa of Muslim Ummah, he never uh, take any servant for his personal life, even for his family life, even for his straight life. He used to have Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha, uh, who was, uh, who used to uh, fall in sick in, uh, many times, but Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala used to help Hazrat Fatima in his household chores, but he never take any servant for his household, household activities. Thus Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anha, lead a very simple life and very general and very formal uh, very uh, natural life and we may we can take lesson from this uh, lifestyle of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala we should be simple we should be general and we should be as uh, we should be more and more uh, polite in our lives in our activities in all parts of life May Allah help us to lead such steps of life and to follow the lifestyle of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala Allah Hafiz, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey students, here is the board question 2017 for you is given here. Uh, you will complete or uh, you will write, uh, learn and write this period question for your HW and you will submit it as your HW. I think it will be easier and clear for you uh, as I have discussed the uh, biography of Hazrat Ali and the husband of your husband. Inshallah, everybody perform this uh, activity. Inshallah, Allah, 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 All